Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC again, baby, and I'm dropping a bomb on you because this is a Best Tech Ultra Mega Uber unboxing, episode three. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. And this is the nuke. And we're going to bust this Bihosh open. So, episode three, we're just tearing right through these things. Uh, I'll get through them all when I'm dead. The last one I unboxed, I believe, was the Thyra, which is a kombu design. This kind of thin, elegant, delicious piece. Uh, one of the higher-end ones in 390, titanium, copper, all that stuff. The Nuke, I don't, I don't recall. You know, I just don't recall which one this is, but we're going to bust this thing open right after I sneeze. It's going to happen. Maybe not. This is, by the way, this is the BT-2107E, for those of you wondering, the Nuke. I'm interested. It's a great name. I hope it's as gnarly as it sounds. It usually is. I believe this is, yeah, BT, this is another high-end best tech. So, we got the usual fare, the gold embossed lettering, the simply the best. I wish I could insert that little music line, that little ditty. In here, but I will get, uh, I will lose all of my money. Inside the box, we have what appears to be a pouch. Wow, would you look at that? And my favorite snack. You gotta love that. No, I like Best Tech's pouches, too. They do good stuff. Let's take a look at the nuke here. Ooh, sticker, cloth, paperwork. What is this? <gasps> Ooh, okay, I know what this is. Oh, damn, dude. I, 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 I like, kind of recalled what this thing looked like. Now I do. This... Is like a stubby little chode of a knife. And look at this thing, man. Not big. Not a big knife. Not a small knife. Really thick. Here's the Best Tech Nixie by Todd Knife and Tool. Shorter, but much fatter than the Nixie, right? Uh, here's a uh, Malibu for size comparison. Again, actually about the same length as the Malibu. Just much. A, a, very, a very thick boy. A very uh, hefty boy. Black on black, kind of this black wash. We have this wild inlay. I'm not sure what this is. Carbon G10? Looks like G10, maybe. I'm not sure. The brass pivot collar, the Best Tech logo. Oh, a beautiful decorative backspacer here. Titanium. Titanium pocket clip. Beautiful decorative. Look at all this crazy milling, dude. Frame lock, full tie. Uh, looks like we can flip it and uh, finger it. Okay. Let's give it a flick. Oh, good and snappy. Oh, yeah. Love that blade shape. Super tall flat grind on this little stubby little, war uh, not a warning, little, little sheep's foot there. Real aggressive looking blade. Wild looking deployment slots. We got nice jimping here and like a, a, a subtle ramp. Grips good. Ergo's in hand. Took back. Fills the hand really well, honestly. Like super locked in. No issues there. Huge forward finger choil. Choke all the way up. That feels great. Oh, pinch grip all day. You get way out here towards the tip. Oh, I could just live there. Lockup's good. No lock rock, no blade play. This was sealed from the factory, so it's not like they cheated and sent me, like, the perfect one. You know what I mean? A real nice-looking knife, man. I love this colorway. You know I'm a sucker for black on black, baby. Man, I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see all the little micro-milling details here. Maybe you are. Maybe you aren't. Uh, again, another kombu design. I love it. Grigor, my dude. How you doing? Running on bearings. Feels good. Oh, detent's so good and snappy. Flipper. All day. I'm assuming, again, this is literally straight out of the, the plastic wrap. So I'm assuming it would break in after a little bit. We'll see long term how she does. I'm sure she will. But detent's good, man. Flipper tap, you can kind of push button it real easy. Reverse flick, feels great. Thumb flick, all day. A ton of meat on that blade to get a hold of. Feels good. Not super heavy, but again, not a huge knife. Um, We ought to cut something with it. Right quick. Right quick. It was under my ass the whole time. Little did I know. 
Oh, Ray St. Clair Roofing. Let's see this Blade Steel. Blade Steel? Mom? Dad? Blade Steel? M390. This is a high-end uh, best tech, like I said. I'm not sure on price. Uh, future me. Price here. Wow. Ooh. Ah. Uh, $299, maybe? I don't know. Oh, boy. That crazy tall flat grind, dude. Putting in the work. No issues. Like, it's not even there. Grigor, you wild, crazy man. It's like it's not even there. God, Best Tech does such a good job. Factory edges are always on point. Build quality, fit and finish, man. They're like top tier as far as overseas, like Chinese OEMs go, Chinese manufacturers. It's kind of hard to beat. A good Best Tech. What a beauty, dude. The nuke. Love the inlays. Love the looks. Love the lines. I, I love a good chode. We, we love a good fat PP knife around here. We did a whole live stream about chode knives. Case in point. Why I like the nuke so much. Um, I do have one little thing just on first impressions. Lock bar access isn't the best and it's kind of sharp in there. It's kind of tough to get in there. But, I mean, it's not a hindrance as much as it is an annoyance. You know what I mean? But something I may get used to. We'll see. Overall though, sick little knife. I, just, I love the decorative milling back here on the backspacer. It's the little touches, man. Grigor, Grigor puts in the, the little things. He knows I like the little things. Beautiful. The best tech nuke designed by Kombu. It's a beaut and it's in the house. This is not the full review, just the unboxing first impressions. There will be a full review eventually. Plenty of pictures on the Instagram. Check them out. Uh, and links for this in the description. Go grab you one. It's kind of sick. So until next time, thank you all so much for watching. Bye-bye now.